Ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to miss this presentation today. RJS Software Systems has a great solution that most of your customers, all of your customers, could take advantage of, and the benefit to you are the margins you can earn and the potential to also sell professional services with the RJS solution. Mm -hmm. Also, later in the presentation, we are giving away a Kindle Fire. Hello, everyone. My name is Don Grease. I am the Manager of Sales and Business Development here at Lifeboat Distribution, and we are happy to have you, our tremendous customers that we value so greatly, here with us today for this presentation from Kathy Allen at RJS Software Systems. Welcome, Kathy. Good afternoon. So, folks, <laughs> folks, we all have the same problem, paper and manual business processes. They kill our productivity and cause us to lose competitive advantage. RJS can help all your customers because their software digitizes the paper, pours it into automated workflows, and provides centralized access to information your customers need when they need it. This streamlines your customers' business and gives them the competitive edge they need to grow. As I mentioned, Kathy Allen is here from RJS to provide the main presentation. Kathy is the Business Development Manager at RJS Software, and Kathy and RJS are fresh off of being our premier sponsor at our annual Partner Summit last week at Harris Resort and Casino in Atlantic City. We had a great time, and we want to thank you so much, Kathy, and the whole team at RJS for your great support at our event. We're looking forward to doing it again with you again next year. Okay, before I turn this presentation over to Kathy, there's just one more thing I want you to know, and that is we do encourage you to ask questions. You can do that by answering your questions in the Q&A panel on the right-hand side of the screen. And at the conclusion of the presentation, we will answer as many of those questions as time permits. So, okay, that's enough for me, but stay tuned because don't forget, I will be announcing the winner of the Kindle Fire while we are online today. Okay, Kathy, it is all yours. All right, and thanks, Don, as usual, a great introduction. We did very much enjoy our time out in Atlantic City, and we're thrilled to be uh, one of the premier vendors. So uh, kudos to the Lifeboat team on that event as well. And thank you to the rest of you for taking a little bit of time out of your day and learning about our solution and how we might be able to help you generate some, uh, some sales and, and maybe have a new line of revenue. I'm Kathy Allen. I'm with RJS Software, and I... Uh, manage our channel here, and, and I would be the person to work with you on any opportunities you might have coming forth. We're going to go through a very brief agenda, talk to you a little bit about us, who we are, then talk about why we think our solutions are viable and relevant out in the marketplace, talk a little bit about how we partner with you through Lifeboat, and then we'll jump into our products. We want to finish up with a couple success stories just to maybe relate how these solutions actually do fit into the marketplace. RJS is a software developer. We do manufacture the software that we're going to be talking about today. We've been around for about 22 years. I almost hate to say that out loud because I've been here a good, a good portion of those years. We focus our solutions around the document management life cycle. And what that means to you in terms of capturing information, storing information, and securing information. On top of that, once you have that information captured, how you can route it and how this fits into a sales process for you out to your customer base. So what's driving companies to go paperless? Same thing that you may be hearing from your customers or that you may be experiencing the pains of internal to your own organization getting documents out and about to the people that need them. That may be internal or external customers. And it can be costly and time consuming. And it can be um, in the form of hard cost and soft cost in terms of, of the expenditure of effort, time, and dollars. There are also compliances, the regulatory compliances that your customers may be forced to adhere to, like HIPAA and SOX. Those seem to be the two that people relate to the most, but there are other ones out of the marketplace as well. And these folks that are, are need to adhere to these regulations 
need to be able to provide audit trails, and doing that through an electronic means can save them a lot of headache in, in an audit or just for the ability to track the information should they need to do that. Oftentimes organizations talk about disaster recovery, but what they don't talk about is the paper. What happens to the paper? And we call that business recovery. So it's great that you have a plan in place and your systems are up and running and you can hot swap your boxes and you know within minutes, seconds, or hours you can be back in business. But what about the contracts that you might have to look up? What about the signatures you might have to produce on a paper document, delivery tickets, those types of things? Those are starting to be of huge concern to organizations who have gone through some type of uh, disaster, a flood possibly, or um, you know, hurricane, tornado. You, you hate to hear even any of that happening, but it could be a reality. And then, of course, there's always just the fact that, that forms are costly, whether they're pre-printed or whether you're creating them out of Word documents, uh, they can be costly and time-consuming to produce and to manage. So what makes RJS a little bit different in the marketplace? One of the things that, that sets us apart is that we have this kind of end-to-end -end solution. And we're going to be talking about it as a solution, but each one of these uh, solutions within the larger document lifecycle, sign here, web forms, and web docs can be purchased individually, and they can also be used together should the business process require that. These solutions are relevant today. People are asking for electronic signature. They're asking for an electronic repository. They're trying to get rid of that paper. So it's not a new concept to the marketplace, but people, organizations, are finally coming to the realization they have to be doing this. And they have to be doing it for a couple different reasons. Uh, they need to reclaim space. They need to become more efficient in their business processes. They need to, they have distributed locations they need to share information between, and they have to do this more effectively and, and ultimately hoping that that will in turn reflect on their customer service and their internal processes as well. Additionally, we are a channel-focused model. We are looking for um, re our relationships with Lifeboat to really help you uh, offer these solutions out into your customer base and open up a new revenue stream for you, potentially a consistent revenue stream. And we put that in there because our software can be deployed on-premise or it can also be deployed in the cloud to give that recurring business model that so many organizations are seeking today. Our software comes with a pretty solid profit margin, right? Hardware typically tends to be lower. Software is, is one of those higher margin solutions that, that you can really make a few more bucks off of. Uh, that recurring revenue model I was just talking about with, with software in the cloud, if, you know, if your customers aren't talking to you about that, they're definitely thinking about it. How can I cut my costs internally by moving things off my internal infrastructure potentially? and primarily software applications, right? I need that infrastructure to do some certain things for me, but there are software applications that I don't want to manage. Uh, we do have a lead registration process, though, that you are very much protected as you would be with Lifeboat. And in the process of promoting and selling our solutions, we give you an absolute ton of support. We help you in the pre-sales model with demos, with proposal generation, uh, so that you can go back and get your pricing. We help you with technical support and professional services as well. So you truly are partnered up with the organization with RJS and Lifeboat to give you a rounded solution with all, all the support that you need. Additionally, we will work with you on, uh, on co-marketing campaigns, things that you might want to do to promote us out to your customer base. We do have some ecosystem partners that make a lot of sense. When we talk about signature capture, there are devices that will ride along with that. So if you are an organization that already sells these devices, that's great. That's another opportunity for you as well, as well as tablets uh, or potentially other software applications. So where do we fall out in the marketplace? We are a forward-facing organization. Our solutions are all web-based and architected, so they fit very well into other people's infrastructure and architecture. 
uh, many or many companies that deal with document ma and document management they have web capability, which means it still might be a client install, but they but you can access documents via the web. We actually take an entirely different approach where it's web based straight out of the gate. We offer it in again two different models of hosted or on premise. So you have flexibility in dealing with your customers to offer them options. We are experts at integration, so regardless of what business applications your customers may be running, uh, we can integrate into them. We use multiple different methods to do that. Again, we are that end-to-end -end solution. Most document management companies will have to third-party a solution together to get signature capture, to get electronic forms and to get document management all into the same solution set. We actually have that that we've manufactured and built together seamlessly. So very generally here, as I mentioned, you can use these solutions individually or you can use them together to create a seamless process that might involve all these things, um, capturing a signature on a form, that needs to be scanned, and it all goes into WebDocs, which is a centralized repository, which then we can launch workflows from and be accessible from any place because we are a web-based solution. We are very scale scalable from very small organizations to very large organizations. Any type of document can be stored in the system. Uh, I, I always kind of tease at this point and say truly size doesn't matter. So we're going to take a moment to jump into the solutions here. We have a, a couple short videos that we're going to play throughout the course of this presentation. These videos are available for you as marketing tools. We hope you will want to use them. They're well done, and we hope you enjoy. I'll play a video, and then I'll come back and talk in a very high level about the feature benefits, and then we'll move on to the next solution. Enjoy. Getting signatures on documents manually printing and routing paper, not to mention storing and keeping track of it all, workflows came to a halt as paper documents sat on someone's desk waiting to be signed. That meant long delays in getting approval or authorization. Not anymore. With time here, you can save time and money by electronically capturing signatures and applying them to digital versions of contracts, shipping documents, and other business forms that reports generate from any source. Documents can be signed using tablet or mobile device, or you can use unique digital signatures that can only be accessed and embedded using a single PIN code or user ID. Signatures can be applied to multiple pages at once, and you can add annotations, notes, and timestamps to each signed document. And because they're digital, it's quicker and easier to route signed documents through business processes for review and approval, and electronically store them into web docs, SharePoint, or other DPM systems. From distribution and manufacturing, healthcare and beyond, signed here works with any kind of document in any kind of approval process. And because digital signatures are accepted worldwide, you can rest assured that all of your documents and transactions are legally binding. Not only will you save money on printing and paper, but you'll speed up decision making, improve productivity, and enhance relations with customers, vendors, and partners. Sign here. Problem solved. All right, so that is our sign here solution. And just to talk about that a little more in depth, um, as the video mentions, the, the solution is intended to capture signatures to any type of document. Those documents can be paper-based documents, uh, or they can that, that are scanned in electronically, a signature is apply, applied and moved along, or they can be system-generated documents where a PIN-based authorization process can be used to apply a signature. When we are talking about those ecosystem partners, we have a certain number of APIs already written for, for Topaz, and Genico, Anodo. We're adding devices every single day. So if you have handheld devices that are out in a shipping area or on a dock or in a delivery truck, we certainly can work with those. And there really is no limitation on the types of documents that we can sign. The benefits being that now those electronic signatures do indeed hold up 
And the bigger benefit really is that you can reduce the paper shuffle and allow uh, that paper just to go away, have a stored copy. If you need to reproduce that and send that out, it can be done in seconds versus minutes or hours. The next solution we're going to talk about is web forms. And again, we have a short video. And I think the volume was maybe a little bit low. We're working on that. And we'll get it turned up here so you can, uh, you can enjoy that a little bit more. And here we go. or mobile device. Form fields, lists, and menus can be pre-populated and validated from any database or auto-populated using existing data like employee or customer information. Business logic and form rules can also be used to make sure forms are filled out correctly. And because WebForms is browser-based, you can quickly deploy new forms as soon as they're designed. WebForms also improves customer service and form completion rates by giving users the ability to fill out forms at their convenience. The software also allows you to digitally sign forms, attach supporting documents, and seamlessly route them through business processes, which can speed up workflow. With web forms, you can effortlessly capture, route, and pass the collected information to any database, ERP system, or ECM system like WebDocs, so you can quickly access, analyze, and use it at any time, anywhere. Because web forms automate data collection and electronically routes and saves forms, you save money on redundant data entry, paper-related distribution and storage costs, and improve customer service. Get rid of paper and speed up data collection with web forms. Problem solved. Web forms, we feel, is truly a differentiator for us in the document management space. Uh, this is basically a fillable form, right? And there are a lot of solutions out there that have fillable capability. Adobe is one of those solutions that people are most familiar with. But at the end of the day, what happens with Adobe is you fill in your fields, you have a great looking form, and you can PDF that form, and you can do whatever you need to do with it at that point. You know, email it, print it, whatever the case may be. RJS takes that process, and we put it on steroids. We actually have the ability to take the information from those forms and populate a back-end software application with them. The other thing we can do is fill out multiple forms at once. So one of the examples that we like to give is in HR for onboarding. A typical HR package may have anywhere between uh, 20 to 40 forms to fill out for their new hires. With our solution, we can actually make those web-based fillable forms. You fill in your name one time, and it populates all those 20 to 40 forms. You fill in your address, it populates. You know, there are certain forms that are going to require specific information that you may not want other, other people to see. So when that launches off into a workflow, potentially, that information becomes invisible to people. And then ultimately, at the end of the day, when all the approvals are in place through a workflow process, you can then take that information and populate a HR package or a payroll package, whatever it might be required for your, for your particular position. You may have to launch a, a requisition for a laptop or for a car. These are the things that can be facilitated through web forms. So when we output that information, we can put it out in a format that those systems can accept. We can also make those forms conditional. We can put business logic in them, really any kind of logic that you might need, formatted, specifically formatted fields for dates or identification numbers. We can attach information to it. So if you need to uh, scan and enter your driver's license, we can attach that driver's license to your employment application should you be a driver. Those types of things that a typical syllable form cannot facilitate. So again, it's like really on steroids. And it's one of the solutions that our customers are finding new uses for every single day 
it is really just a limitless possibility on these forms. Integration is probably the, the key driving factor on why people are doing this. They want that data to be usable. They also want it to maybe facilitate customer service processes, uh, possibly order forms, putting, um, putting an application for quote generation out on their customer portals, or the ability to request uh, information back. You know, again, limitless possibilities and moving toward that paperless workspace again. If you can avoid somebody having to fill out a piece of paper, if you can avoid having to walk that paper around, Web Forms itself can have its own little workflow inside it. The third and last solution we're going to talk about is WebDocs. This is the repository where all this information can be stored. Again, the previous two solutions, Sign Here and Web Forms, can be used on their own or they can be managed within WebDocs. And again, these um, videos are for your use should you want them. And we're going to learn a little bit about WebDocs. Overwhelmed by paper? Having problems finding and storing your documents or getting them where they need to go? RJS Software Systems has the solution. When you manage your documents with WebDocs, you get more time to act on information instead of searching for it. And you can dramatically reduce printing, storage, and distribution costs by securely storing all your documents in an electronic filing cabinet. Getting documents into WebDocs is easy. You can import your existing digital content or scan and electronically capture paper documents like invoices, purchase orders, medical records, and contracts and store them as full text or index key searchable digital files. Once all that information is captured, WebDocs gives you multiple ways of quickly finding what you need. You can search by document type, date, title, and more. Plus you can add your own custom search criteria. The software can also integrate into your business applications and give you seamless, one-touch access to all the information you need. Documents can be automatically routed through your own workflows using the system's built-in routing engine so colleagues or clients can easily review, modify, and approve them wherever they are. Advanced security features allow you to choose who has access to your information and who doesn't. WebDocs tracks all document activity and creates new versions every time a document is changed ensuring that your information never gets lost or overwritten. And because WebDocs is browser-based, you can access, use, and share files at any time from anywhere, giving you the freedom and flexibility to get work done no matter where you are. So say goodbye to those filing cabinets full of paper. WebDocs can help you capture, manage, distribute, and secure all of your documents and data, saving your business time and money. WebDocs. Problem. Solved. So again, WebDocs is that centralized repository. What can be stored in WebDocs? Anything can be stored in WebDocs. Documents can be stored, audio files, video files, pictures. It really, uh, if it can be captured electronically, we can store it electronically. Again, the software is web-based. So if you're, just, if you're a company that's got distributed locations, you can capture information at point of receipt and make it immediately available to your other locations, regardless of whether they're a mile away or on the other side of the world. We do capture some things in, in to WebDocs that, that makes life very easy. We have integrations built into Outlook and Lotus Notes. We have integrations built into Microsoft Word applications so that we can capture things that you're generating, as well as any type of reporting or documentation that's coming out of any business system, your financial package, your ERP, your HR, if those are, are separate applications or if it's one large ERP application. And then we can automate the workflow process behind that. So now you can take these paper-based processes where you might have taken something that was generated electronically, printed it, routed it, you know, by walking it to in baskets across your organization, get manual signatures on it with, with a real live ballpoint pen and ultimately scan it back in so you have it the electric format. We can eliminate all that and make it again um, minutes and seconds versus hours and days. So there are hard costs and soft costs associated with doing that. Of course, 
uh, saving on paper and printing distribution costs, those are the uh, hard costs associated with it. And then the streamlining of the business process becomes a soft cost, but instrumental nonetheless to make your business flow more seamlessly and quickly. We, again, talk a lot about integration. And part of that is the ability to launch documents and searches directly from the applications your folks are working in today. So if they're working in Dynamics as their, uh, their financial package, we can, we can set up buttons on their screen to say, my cursor is hovering over an invoice number. Let's launch it directly from my screen. So you don't have to juggle between interfaces. That creates a very low learning curve for the solution and makes it pretty simple for everybody to learn. Um, and, and again, you can re reclaim that real estate space and be able to facilitate your customers on a much more timely basis. So where does this fit? It probably fits in the same verticals that you're selling into today. A manufacturing and distribution are, are heavily paper-based types of vertical organizations. Healthcare is being mandated to uh, turn their paper records into electronic health records. Um, hospitality, it, we have been successful with paperless registration, which we're going to talk about in a moment, as well as education, and really any place that produces paper. So those are industry verticals. We have also found that many organizations don't buy document management initially as an enterprise solution. What typically will happen is they have a departmental need. Uh, AP is always a strong candidate for document management just simply because the amount of paperwork that they generate, they receive, and that they have to match and store. Uh, a natural progression is, is human resources, same thing. They're just generating a ton of paperwork. In, in new hires and performance reviews and vacation requests, all kinds of paperwork that flows around that. Uh, hotels, in, particularly in their front desk environments. So you can easily see where, where this can be an enterprise-wide solution or can actually facilitate a departmental need. And that's truly what makes the solution scalable. So to finish up here, we're going to put it into some real life situations for you. We're going to talk about three different organizations using each one of these solutions. For sign here, we wanted to highlight a, a resort and casino, the Borgata. It, incidentally, it was out in Atlantic City, and we were able to call on them while we were out at the uh, Lifeboat Conference, so that was kind of fun. But what they were really having a problem with was managing their registration cards. and. It was always in a paper-based process. The way they were storing them was kludgy. And if there was any kind of dispute and they had to try and match up a signature, they had to go back and find a paper card. They also implemented an electronic solution. That solution did not work well for them at all. So as a result, now they had an electronic solution and they had a paper-based solution. And they never knew where to go look for these signatures and it really became a bottleneck in their ability to resolve disputes. So RJS came in with our electronic sign here solution, very stable. It absolutely reduced any issues they were having at their front desk with, with their old system not working. Sign here it has always been up and functional. We do have a case study out on our website that will uh, talk to that in greater depth. But there is an example of how sign here can be used in, in that vertical. There's many other verticals, as I mentioned, distribution and manufacturing. Um, so if you have a need for electronic signature, please contact us about sign here, and we'll be happy to walk you through it. Sequent is an organization that's actually part of a much larger organization, but one of their biggest issues was they had multiple paper-based forms in their organization. And that was a huge issue for them in trying to process paperwork. They were constantly losing it. Um, there was so much of it. It was being stored all over the place. They did not have a good way to process forms. And these forms were many different kinds of things. They were purchase order requests. They were employee requests and requisitions. Um, they really had a difficult time managing that. 
they initially started out thinking that if they could just do seven forms, that would significantly lighten their workload in terms of losing and looking for documents and being able to process these things much faster. That did indeed happen for them, and as a result, I believe they're up over 20 forms now. I believe the last time I heard they were at 23 forms. So they have taken this and they are making it a, a organizational standard for forms in their organization and moving completely a, away from paper and being very successful. The last uh, case study that I'd like to highlight is really about WebDocs. Because WebDocs is the storage media kind of behind all this. Now, a web form you can store anywhere out on your network. It doesn't have to be in WebDocs, but we can manage it in WebDocs. A signature, and I, and I didn't mention this before, when we capture a signature, we burn it into the document that's being signed, and we store that document as a PDF, and then we cash out the signature. So we're never really holding the signature. We get it, we apply it towards something, and then we cash it out. So it, rele it releases you from the liability of having signatures floating out on your system. That document, in turn, can be stored out on the network, or it could be stored into WebDocs, or really any document management solution. Clearly, we would prefer WebDocs, but it certainly can be stored in different types of locations. So to highlight Ontario universities, they actually are a university system out of um, the Toronto area, and they process employ um, student applications for about 19 different facilities. They receive, I believe, about 3.5 million applications each year for student, student applications to come into their system. It was taking them months and months and months to process, and partially because they were getting these applications in at many, many, many different locations. Then they would have to process them and get them to a centralized location. What happens today is now those applications are captured at point of receipt, they go into WebDocs, and they can be workflowed. They were able to eliminate a temporary staff for processing. Uh, I believe they, they had four part-time people. Um, they were, they're down to four part-time people now to help them process that information. And those people continually evolve. They're typically students. So students can come in and learn WebDocs on their first day and help process applications. This has turned this process from months and months down into weeks. All these case studies are available out on our website, but we like to kind of talk through a real life scenario to kind of bring it into perspective on, on what people are using these solutions for. All right, and those were just kind of highlights of everything I just spoke through. That really concludes our, our presentation. We just wanted to give you an overview on who RJS is, what we offer out in the marketplace, why we think it's relevant for you as a reseller to open up a, a new, you know, those solutions are relevant to you so that you can open up new lines of revenue. And the biggest takeaway that we'd like you to have is that we really try and make it easy for you. We know you may not be experts at this, but we are. So we very much hold your hand through the process. We partner with you. Um, we can handle the services or we'll allow you to take them on. But the first step is to generate the opportunities and give a call so that we can help you generate that revenue and close some deals. And I think uh, there were some questions. I'll let Don facilitate those. And, and thank you so very much for your time today. OK, Kathy, once again, thank you for the great presentation. Um, we do have questions. Um, I think before I get into the questions, though, I think it's time for me to announce the winner of the Kindle Fire. Um, and so that lucky winner is, hold on, drum roll, please. Um, it is Chad Muncy from Preferred Data Systems. Um, so congratulations, Chad. Thank you for being on the, uh, the presentation today, and uh, we will take care of getting you the Kindle Fire through your lifeboat rep here. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, please hang on, everybody, because we do have some important questions that we need to answer. And we're going to start with one. Um, Kathy, this has to do with the sign uh, on product. Um, 
you had showed a, a, a one shot there of various devices that that would work with the product. But if people have things like uh, Wacom tablets, or if they have any other sort of tablet devices, will it work? It very much will. Uh, we have multiple different device types that we deal with um, from, again, the Topaz type devices and Genico. We also work on tablets or mobile devices that have, you know, any type of stylus or finger type signing. Um, really, we are not limited by the device type. Okay, very good, very good. Um, I have another question here that's a little bit different, and the question is, um, two of uh, my larger customers require any document repositories to have dual authentication in order to access. Is that an option, or is it a single authentication only? You know, that is something that we can work with you on. We could absolutely have two repositories and authenticate against each one of those so that the documents are validated. Um, it's not typical for us, but absolutely we could work with that. Okay, great, great. Um, next one, um, regarding mobile devices, um, what types of mobile devices are able to access um, information stored in an RJS repository? Really, it's all via a web browser, so any type of handheld that has a web connection, right? Again, we're not okay. limited by devices because it's a, a because it's a web browser-based solution. As long as you have internet connectivity, you can access documents. Okay, excellent. Um, this question is regarding web docs, and the question is: Is there an offline option for when web access is not available? Um, for web docs, there is not currently today. You do have to have connectivity to access the documents. However, that uh, actually has been brought up internally just recently, and we are talking about enhancements for offline options so that when you do come back online, you could sync up. All right, very good. Thank you, Kathy. Um, folks, I'm going to jump to our call to action and start to wrap up today's presentation. But if you do have any more questions, um, then please um, enter those questions for us, and I will get to them um, before we actually say goodbye. In fact, you know what? One just came in, um, Kathy. So can your product be used merely as a scanning imaging application where the docs will be stored in a separate database? Yep, we do have some different capture modules that would allow you to do that. So there's a couple different parts of that the procedure, right, is in scanning is one of them. We offer a few different scanning um, options depending on your volume and, and specifically that. Some of them are just scanning and some of them are integrated into our solution. So the answer is yes. Okay. All right. If anybody uh, has questions, keep them coming. Otherwise, what we recommend at this stage is to visit RJS's website. They've got a ton of um, marketing and sales material up there that can help you. Um, um, they are rich with the videos and other types of information that will be valuable to you and that you can share with your, your customers to help position uh, the solutions you've seen today. Um, as Kathy has mentioned, they have white papers also. Um, and they also have a great partner program um, that Kathy spoke of during the presentation. The Partner Connect program page is also loaded with training um, and, again, more sales and marketing material. Um, as Kathy also mentioned, she's available to answer your questions. The whole team at RJS is available to help you um, if you think you have a potential uh, customer who's got an interest, who maybe has some technical questions that you need help with. The team at RJS can certainly jump in and do the heavy lifting for you. And of course, I recommend always to contact your Lifeboat sales rep here. Um, we would be happy to work with you to schedule a deeper dive demo of any of the products you've seen today or to talk about solutions for your customers. We'll help with any opportunity. And of course, we can give you assistance with uh, 
pricing, and uh, other pre-sales assistance. So I hope you all enjoyed the presentation today. Um, Kathy, you did a great job, uh, not only with the presentation, but with answering the questions. Um, I'm taking one more quick look through here, and I don't see additional questions. So at this point, I want to thank all of you for taking the time today to attend this presentation. Um, it was wonderful to, uh, to do this with RJS and with Kathy again. Um, and we hope that we're going to hear from you soon. Uh, please pick up the phone, call Lifeboat or call Kathy, and uh, let's try to uh, get some business done you know, before the end of the year and rolling into 2013. So that's it for everybody here from Lifeboat and from RJS. Thank you one more time, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye, everybody. Thanks much. Bye-bye.